Let's look closely at aircraft that fly and float. In this video, you will look at some pictures and answer some questions. When it's time to answer a question, you can pause the video and talk to somebody near you about your observations, or you can write them down, or draw pictures, or you can just think in your head. Did you know that some airplanes are designed to land and take off on the water? Let's take a closer look at aircraft that fly and float. This plane is called the Ecker Flying Boat. It was designed to take off and land in water. This plane is called a biplane because it has two wings. One on the top and one on the bottom. Let's look closely at the side of the Ecker flying boat. When we look closely, we have to be sure to look at all parts of the image. Follow the orange star to look closely at the picture. Look at the top of the picture. Look at the bottom of the picture. What do you see? What questions do you have? Look at the left side of the picture. Look at the right side of the picture. Hmm, what do you notice? What do you wonder about? Now look at the whole picture. Why do you think this aircraft is called a flying boat? Where do you think the pilot would sit? The pilot would sit here. The place where the pilot sits is called the cockpit. Let's look closely at the wings of the Ecker flying boat. Can you point to the two wings? Stretch out your arms like wings and imagine you are flying across the sky. What letters do you see? I see an E, C, K. The other two letters are E and R. That spells Ecker and that is the name of the plane. What shapes do you see? Remember to look at the top and bottom of the picture. Remember to look at the left and right sides of the picture. Let's look closely at the bottom of the Ecker flying boat. What does the bottom of the plane look like to you? I think it looks like a boat. Why do you think the bottom of the plane is like a boat? This type of plane lands on water. A bottom like a boat allows the plane to float on top of the water. Planes that land on the ground have wheels, but not this plane. It was designed to take off and land on water. Can you pretend you're floating on top of water? Careful not to fall, the waves are getting bigger. This is the Piper J3 plane. Let's compare the Piper J3 and the Ecker flying boat. The Piper J3 is on the left and the Ecker flying boat is on the right. What is the same about these two aircraft? Remember to look closely. Did you notice that both planes have a cockpit for the pilot in the middle of the plane? What's different? Hmm, I noticed that the Piper J3 has wheels. Let's look closely at the bottom of the Piper J3. How many wheels do you see? 
I count two. Why does this plane have wheels? The Piper J3 cannot take off or land in the water. It takes off and lands on the ground. The plane needs wheels to help it land and take off. Thanks for looking closely at aircraft that fly and float. Looking for more? Check out additional Looking Closely videos and Flights of Fancy Storytime on YouTube.